Hello again folks, um, today I was doing some further tidying in the workshop and I came across this little package from almost exactly 13 months ago and inside it was a little cheap Chinese kit from AliExpress, it's a little sort of sound to light module type thingamajig and I thought tonight we'd just do a real time build on it, it's probably going to take less than 10 minutes I'd imagine and we'll just have a little chat or I'll have a little chat with you um, while we're building it if, if you're up for that. So yeah, let's crack on. So um, if you've been looking on my about page or the community page on my channel, you will see up, up a little poll the other evening. And um, let's see, I'm back making videos now and I just put some options up there, essentially what you'd like to see more of. Um, and overwhelmingly, uh, around, just as I glance over, 43% um, of you said you wanted to see more kit builds. 33% um, of you wanted to see me doing some repair stuff and 19% teardowns. Uh, 5% of you said you wanted to see um, rants, but of course I've got to have stuff to rant about and got to have stuff to repair, so I will do those as and when. Um, but yeah, I thought we'd start off with the, the popular option, which was more kit builds, and I've, clearly this is a simple kit, and um, I will tell you that I have ordered a number of more advanced kits, um, one from eBay and a couple from AliExpress, which we'll go through in uh, videos in the near future. So yeah, we'll crack on a fairly simple kit. I've got this little FR4 uh, PCB, three resistors, five LEDs, uh, two NPN transistors and a couple of caps. And that's just pretty much it in addition to the microphone, of course. And essentially what this is going to do is uh, the microphone signal, you know, is going to be amplified by the uh, transistor. So I'm going to uh, pump that amplified transistor signal over to the, the other transistor which is then going to drive the leds uh, essentially so yeah we'll crack on and build it so i'm not going to bother reading color codes i'm just going to get the meter out and we'll we'll measure these and just pop them on the board 0.97 meg so the meg goes in there so yeah, still, um, still looking for more ideas. Of course, you can pop some uh, comments down in that uh, post I made if you have any other ideas of what sort of content you'd like to see me make. It's um, sometimes quite difficult to come up with stuff to, to uh, you know, to, uh, <laughs> put your teeth back in, Chris. Sometimes it's quite difficult to come up with ideas yourself. Uh, sometimes you think, oh, people want to see that, and then people get bored of it and they, they turn off and, you know, all that good stuff. So if I get some more input from you guys, then, of course, it'll make it, uh, the channel a bit more better, and, of course, you'll enjoy it a bit more. So uh, that was a 4.7K. So what's the last one we're looking for? We're looking for a 10K, which, yeah, I'm pretty certain. At a brief glance, that is what that is. Yeah, that'll do the job. And uh, other things I've got to tell you about. Tomorrow, or maybe Tuesday, I will be putting up um, another competition time video. Not for any uh, subscriber count, milestone or anything like that. Just, um, just because I've started doing videos and... Uh, videos again and just thought it'd be a nice thing to do. So I've got a reasonably decent uh, prize to give away. And I'm going to do it slightly different this time, so stay tuned for that, and we'll uh, we'll get that given away. And like all my competition time videos, um, it doesn't matter where you are in the world, um, I'll get it sent out to you, uh, totally at my cost. And so I'll pay for the shipping and, and obviously the the cost of the the prize. This doesn't seem to be taking sold very well. Right, get that out of the way. Okay, so that's our resistors in. There's no uh, voltage marked on this, but I had a, a brief look online. Looks around sort of three to four and a half volts is the, the sort of recommended uh, voltage for this kit. And of course, like uh, like most of these kits, they're super super cheap. This probably cost around. Uh, a dollar including delivery uh, from China and they're ideal little kits you know the things like this these simple kits they're ideal for um, getting the kids involved or 
if you're a science teacher or something like that you know these can be purchased easily within a school budget to you know get the kids interested and all that sort of good stuff uh, right so next i think we'll do the uh, leds uh, the cathode wood's got the flat edge and the, the flat edge is marked on here so we'll just pop these in like so just bend the leads out slightly <clears throat> excuse me And I've got some royalty-free music queued up. Not my style of music, but I thought it would uh, be suitable for testing this. Nearly there. So have you all had a good weekend? Looking forward to work tomorrow, you, uh, tomorrow for those of you that, you, that are going to work. I know I'm certainly not. Right. Okay. So we'll do a usual trick with the uh, the LEDs, uh, is, and that's to solder one lead. I should really have cleaned this. I don't know if it's because it's been lying around for so long, but it's really not one to take solder that well. Yeah, sorry. We'll solder one lead and then... Um, reflow it to make sure it's sitting nice and flush to the board <clears throat> excuse me and you know what uh, the, that one's a bit sitting proud very slightly you see that little pop there that's it just uh, sitting in place we'll just do them all And there we go, and then we'll do the other sides of them. And we've got the bridge, there we go, I'll get rid of that. And we've got another bridge, this is really not going well. <laughs> Sorted. should really stick this down, I grab a set of helping hands or something. And we'll get those leads chopped off. Like I say in all my videos, or a lot of my videos, just make sure you're wearing, um, just make sure you're wearing glasses or safety glasses when you're doing this, because you don't want one of these uh, leads, as you can hear them ricocheting around the, the workbench, you don't want these getting stuck into your eyeball, because you only get one pair of eyes. Right, uh, next we'll stick in the uh, transistors, 9014s, get that on shot, one like that, and the silk screen of course shows the orientation. There we go. Again, I feel like I'm repeating myself, but always uh, try to alternate where you can the uh, leads. Like, don't do all three leads on the one component if you're soldering multiple semiconductors because it, it can be quite easy to, to overheat them and damage them. So if you just alternate each side, it gives the, the component a chance to sort of cool down, if you like, and uh, reduces the, the risk of you damaging the component. Right, that's those off. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, I think we'll put the microphone in here. Top tip, I mean, this is uh, quite obvious. It's uh, almost a polarised, given the silk screen and the, the location of the leads. But some of these microphones you get, the leads are bang in the centre. So um, if you put your meter onto continuity mode... Um, now, if I put it on this one, which I believe to be the negative side, and touch the can, you'll see we've got continuity there. If I put it on that side, it's not going to beep. Sometimes it's not obvious, but you can just see here the from this right-hand lead, there's three tracks uh, or traces going out onto the can. So that's your negative side. I've got Sion messaging on Discord there. 
the unexpected maker. I've not chatted to those guys for a wee while. I need to get back in touch and see what everybody's doing. Okay, that's one side. And tether. So the only thing remaining is the two capacitors. And then the little uh, GST type connector. So this is uh, 47 millifarads, which goes there. Uh, so anode there. And this is a 1 millifarad, which goes there. Hopefully that was in shot. Um, I don't know if you noticed in a few of my recent uploads, but the video was sort of jerking and almost, uh, almost panning uh, to get back in, in shot. And I think that was a setting. I actually film all my videos um, on Galaxy Note 9. And I believe it was a setting within that that was causing that to happen, which I've turned off. So hopefully uh, the video quality is slightly better uh, than it has been. Come on. There we go. Let me just check that. I'm just going to check that for a shot there. Cause I'm not convinced. It's, yeah, that's fine. Okay, so the last thing to go in is the little connector. Um, again, just to check uh, polarity of these, I always just plug it in, uh, you know, roughly the way it's going to go. Check the silk screen, and I can see that the connector goes that way around, which is actually quite close to the microphone, but you know what? I don't mind. These are just little one-off kits. I don't tend to do anything with them afterwards. I should eBay them as genuine Chris Cochran YouTube channel uh, exhibits. <laughs> Make my millions on eBay. Right, there we go. That was us. 12 minutes. Uh, I think we're probably 10 minutes uh, with my rambling. But that should be us uh, ready to go. And we'll just uh, plug it in and give it a blast. Turn the iron off. I left my iron on um, all night the other day, which is really strange to me. I normally I'm quite OCD about that, but yeah, I left it on all night, so it didn't heat the workshop up too much. I suppose it would have done if it had gone on fire, but there we go. Right, um, set to 3.5 volts. Let's turn it on. And as you can see, as I start talking, it is flashing. I don't know how sensitive it is. There is a bit of noise in the background, but you can see it is actually flashing. So let's try it in some uh, try turning on some royalty free music and see how that goes. That seems to work quite well. Um, yeah, nice, easy, simple kit. Yeah, let's say about a 10 minute build. And let's say an ideal little kit for the kids of that to get involved with and uh, yeah, get involved with. You know, it's uh, a nice little introduction kit. Reasonably simple and, and quick to build. And, you know, at the end of it, they'll have something that they can, they can uh, you know, be proud of. No, not be proud of, but they can see that they've accomplished something. And uh, I suppose, let me just see. Don't want that one. Let's drag that down to. Let's drag that down to two. Well, that's set at two volts. It's running quite well on two volts. In fact, it's probably working better at two volts. Um, just using just using my voice, you can see it actually it's actually working. The camera unusually is is making it look dimmer than it actually is in real life. I don't know why that is. Maybe the exposure setting or something. Um, but the 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 point I was trying to get there. Uh, was that um, you know if if your kids do get involved and make something like this, of course you could run this off a little um, 
you know, uh, battery pack, and he could take it into school as a show and tell, and, and you know, show the the classmates what they've been doing at the weekend. Because I don't imagine there's many kids uh, are soldering up kits and and getting involved in electronics at you know at a, a young age these days. So there we go. I shall refrain from rambling any further. Thanks very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, of course, give me the thumbs up. If you thought it was a load of rubbish, give me the thumbs down. As I've said in all my videos. Any interaction I get from you guys is brilliant. YouTube like to see interaction. It helps uh, helps push the the channel up the rankings and get more views and all that good stuff. And you know that's that's always a good thing for me. So yeah, um, yeah. Thanks very much for watching. If you haven't already done so and you'd like to do so, click on my fat head down here. I'll stick a maybe one or two videos up here for you to look at uh, if you're new to my channel. And uh, yeah, as always, take care of yourselves and all the best.